With the single component, you can upgrade your game from something like this to something like this in literally like two minutes. I have this 2D Unity project here, and this is based on my five minute top-down shooter tutorial. You don't have to do it at all though, but the important thing is when I click the left mouse, I wanna add a trail to these bullets. So I'll drag in this bullet prefab I have here. It's just a yellow circle, and it's completely irrelevant how this works, right? We're just gonna show how to add a trail to any game object. So on my bullet prefab here, I'll go to add component, and I'll look for trail renderer, and I'll add it. So we have this trail renderer component now on our bullet, and I'll go ahead and apply it to the prefab. And now when we shoot our bullets, we'll get a trail that looks like this with default settings. And you know, it's really beautiful. And you'll notice they start going away after five seconds. And so some tweaking needs to be done here. First and foremost, let's lower the time from five to something like 0.3. And with that, we should get a trail that doesn't really stick around so long. It's obviously much faster, right? But it still looks really weird. It's this big purple blob. So what we wanna do now is actually expand this materials dropdown. And in element zero, we'll go ahead and double click on this and look for default line. Default line comes with Unity. It's a built-in one, so we'll use that. So with that, we've removed the purple and it's still ugly, but we're making progress. We now wanna shrink the width of these, right? Like they're so fat. So let's go ahead and I'll change the width down from one. We have this option right here and I'll make it to something like 0.2. We'll see how that looks. So now we're getting closer. It's at least matching the width of our bullet here. You'll obviously have to play around with it in your game to make sure it looks okay, but we're starting to get there. We're pretty close now. The next thing we wanna do is kind of trail this off. Like, I don't like that it's such a big line for so long. So what we can do is on this width bar, we can double click at the end and it will make another point. And with this other point, we can drag that down to zero. So it will start at point two and over its lifespan, it will shrink down to zero. And with that, we can now shoot and it's much more narrow at the end of the trail, right? I think it's starting to look pretty good. At this point, it's pretty stylistic, but I think the trail is pretty bold. So a good thing you can do is go into this color here First thing I'll do is change the color to, you know, the yellow bullet so that it starts off yellow. On the bottom, it basically says what color it's gonna be, right? But at the top, it's gonna be, you know, how transparent they are. So at the top left, I'm not gonna start at full. I'll do maybe, let's say 125 or 150. And then I want this to end at zero. So in this top right corner, I'll click on this and set it to zero. So it's going to fade out. And so with just a few color changes, I think this is starting to look a little bit better. And obviously this is going to be subjective because we're now getting into an artsy side of things, but this looks pretty good. And so those are kind of the main things you'll have to deal with with a trail renderer. You can change the width of it over time, change how long it lasts, change its color and its opacity, and of course give it a material. You could do a bunch of lighting and other stuff too, but I'm gonna stop there. And so at this point, it's really easy. You can just go ahead and add, say, a trail renderer to your player and do similar steps. And literally in like 30 seconds there, I just added a small trail to my player. And it just adds a little bit of an effect, a little bit more polish. And you can obviously clean this up and make it however you want, but that's the general gist of it. And the last thing I'm gonna need you to do is trail on over to my subscribe button and click it so that you can watch all my trailing videos. Thank you, bye-bye.